Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this 8-man mini projector. We support a 1080p and up to 200-inch max display diagonal uh, size and a 60,000 hours lamp life. So it has many, many features. It's a huge, uh, totally complete set. And the big, big deal here is that it comes for an absolute fantastic price. It's absolutely incredible at the moment. It's way below $100 with the current discount available on Amazon. Yeah, don't wait too long if you're in the market to buy something like that. So I thought I'd buy it and show you what you can get for this super low price, which everybody can afford now. Now with this set, uh, there are no excuses anymore to not have such a project. I mean, the model type is LC400. Ape Man, that's a really a famous brand, actually. I mean, it's not Apple, it's not Samsung, but it's really still a very known highly respected brand i've already tested a couple of their devices and they have always been really good so let's see what we get here and we get definitely a full set here we have the projector even with a nice carry bag and it comes also with the screen I think it's a 100 inch screen even with some mounting material so let's open the thing and see what we get here inside and you can see there's a huge amount of things which you get also full manual it looks they have even their website and you can get some support if you have some problems here the full user manual it's definitely too large to show you everything comes in about five or six different languages and maybe the most important uh, page here that's the specs and uh, yeah of course there is some limitation i mean it's supporting up to 1080p but native resolution is only 800 by 480 if i'm not wrong but still sufficient for most of the things which you want to do with such a projector. Really nice protected here with these straps. Let's take it out. We have the power cable, some cleaning thing we have, an HDMI cable, we get even an AV cable, we get the remote control. So you can see absolutely complete set. If you need that for an event, you get really everything to start. Absolutely nothing is missing here. So here we are with this device. You can see very small, lightweight and simple design, but it still has everything what you need. Here we see the infrared, the VGA, it has this dual speaker, all the menu elements. We have the keystone correction. We have the focus, everything where it should be exactly here, the power. Uh, adapter or power port another infrared so we have two infrared from the front one from the back this is really luxury thing we have the headphone jack we have AV we have even a card reader we have two HDMI and the USB so there are almost no wishes left so I'm here on the side of the room I have mounted this screen uh, almost on the ceiling you can see I have the projector on a tripod and I'm trying to get it work without any instructions, without any knowledge as fast as possible. It's some kind of a dummy test. I have added these small batteries. I mean, by the way, they are not included, but you have them everywhere, I guess. I have added a small video clip to this USB stick. And so I'm just adding this thing here and I'm trying to make it work. I click on the power button here and we already have an image. You can see that it's incredible. So I turn down the light a little bit inside here. So it's maybe still a little bit on the bright side for a projector test, but I hope you can still see something. I'm trying to focus this thing. You can see how easily this goes. This is just a couple of seconds. We have different languages. And I've also tried to go very close. The closest area which, where I've been able to focus was about three feet. So maybe one meter is pretty close, but it doesn't have like a zoom. Uh, if you want to increase the size of the screen diagonal, uh, then you have to move away from the screen. But you can see the uh, keystone uh, correction here. Maybe I can point uh, this a little bit up. 
So here I hope I can show you the idea of the uh, keystone uh, correction. You can see that the image is not straight on the side. And here is the keystone correction. You can easily change that. If you have to go down, you could do it to the side. If you go up, you do it on the right side. So very easy that we have to refocus. Of course, when you are too close, it's difficult to have everything in focus like the top and the bottom because they have different distances. This is uh, definitely not a perfect situation because I'm very, very close. If you're a little bit further away, then it shouldn't matter too much. This is probably the worst situation and a situation which you probably won't have in real life. So we have a nice vertical keystone correction. What we don't have is a horizontal keystone uh, correction. Like say, if you are or if you have to point your image to the side, sometimes you have then also not straight lines, and you have to correct. But this is a rather rare situation. Usually, it's either up and down, and we can easily correct this from here. So what I can also say is that the screen itself is really nice, it's fine, it is almost, it has almost no wrinkles, especially if you uh, give some tensions with these uh, rings here, it's a nice screen, it even fits here in this really tight environment, I mean here, here it's not even fully extended, it's still some heavy compromise inside here, but it already does a great job. Now let's try to make this video running. I have really no clue what I have to do. I'm really new to this thing, so let's try and see what we have. We have these buttons here. Yeah, this looks like an input selector. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we have the media player. Let's just push here. We have different things. Yeah, up uh, or down here. This down we have the video. Now we are on uh, C. We have this one video. Yeah, and you can already see uh, that everything works right out of the box, but it's way too bright. I will uh, make another video uh, or another part of the video where you see a better image. This is definitely way from being perfect. I just wanted to show you uh, what you can do here and you can uh, decrease and increase the uh, speaker, the loudness. So there's no deep bass, of course, but you can make it really loud so everybody can understand. There's menu, you can see here, you can do a lot. You can do something with the picture, with the sound, some other options, timing. Yeah, you have, made, you have a lot of uh, different images modes. So of course I can't show you all the different settings, but you can see, like, uh, say here the picture mode, we have a user setting, we have a soft setting, we have standard setting, we have vivid setting, so many different things and also with the sound and everything, so many different options here. Uh, I mean the thing is not super bright, of course it's not possible at this price range, but I would say the image is definitely not bad. I have definitely seen worse and it's almost impossible to beat this price, so I'm going outside later when it's a little bit more dark and try to show you a better image uh, how this will look in real life because this is really super tight but you can see the menu definitely works so the menu control is really easy and i would say also the uh, sound i mean the the noise which this thing is producing is not really uh, loud i mean i have definitely uh, seen projectors on a higher price which produce more noise so this is definitely on an acceptable level it is producing some warm or hot air on the side apart from that not much so it looks like it's pretty efficient no nothing else yeah here a little bit warm in the middle but of course it's uh, not avoidable so at the moment everything is looking good yeah before we start with more footage i wanted to show you the uh, remote control it has everything even a little bit more here what i really appreciate is that we have this volume here the volume up and down and we have even a flip mode which you can see you can easily flip uh, these four different modes 
and we have all the menu fu functions which you had before and the bag so you have actually everything on your remote control even I would say a little bit better than what you have here but you have also everything on the projector itself so here we are with projector during the night and we can see the light is really good so during the day it has been a struggle because the brightness is definitely limited but when you're using this during the night with the screen yeah it's definitely providing a really really nice picture everything is nice and sharp i mean we still have the limited resolution but it is looking really nice here i mean can see also the change what we can do here with the keystone correction you can see up and down or actually this is down this would be up and uh, yeah so when we have it straight that's definitely the best thing also regarding sharpness that we have a sharp image overall everywhere and the screen is really nice i mean we have to consider that this screen was in the package was folded i didn't use any iron or so i've just been using this as ease as it came from the package and there's absolutely nothing to see i mean on the side here it's just uh, because it's not straight but apart from that you wouldn't see that if i would hang this up really nicely with a couple of nails so let's try again with the media player let's go to the c drive so here we are with the video let's go to this video here let's start it yeah i would say it's actually better than what you see on the camera here it's not perfect i mean we still have the limited resolution of 480p but you can definitely watch the thing you can also see the details down there description the time date time and everything it's nicely visible so maybe i point this thing a little bit out and go a little bit closer so you can see but i mean it's not a professional camera here i'm just trying to do this as good as i can and there are still some limitations but the player is really nice and the audio you can hear the audio is coming out from the projector and everything is really fluent i mean there's no lags there's nothing stuck or so yeah I go a little bit close again i wanted to show you the menu here i uh, hope i can show you that unfortunately it's not illuminating the remote control but you can see what we can do we have uh, some options here uh, i mean actually a lot of options you can see what you can do also during the play you can also go forward yeah i have to point to the infrared receiver of course we can uh, go forward fast or even go back here so i'm moving back here four times yeah can we go faster even 60 times back that's not bad you can see 32 times back yeah it's amazing we can do and play again so looks like the cpu everything the control is pretty fast and the menu will go away after some time i don't know if you can uh, remove that but uh yeah, I mean as long as the situation is really good I mean we have the nice screen and everything uh, I think it's not bad yeah, and because I wanted to show you a real life image or video uh, I moved this thing to the living room where I had quite some distance you can see how far away this is from the wall and it's just a wall I was not using the screen and it's a really rough wall it's definitely very uh, something which is very unfavorable actually for doing such a thing using a projector and it's doing a really good job actually you can see that here it's projecting really nicely to this uh, large uh, distance here and you can use everything and everything works and uh, it, it's a cool thing 
so definitely works in real life not only short distance and with uh, artificial screen in the back but also really if you want to use that in your living room as long as you keep it pretty dark yeah again uh, as long as we have the right situation and not too much light and uh, everything straight or a little bit up and down is okay not to the side of course because of the uh, keystone correction only works up and down but as long as the situation or the environment is good we can also provide a decent image i mean at least for the price definitely i mean if you have too high expectations it's definitely not a professional projector and it has some limitations regarding the resolution and brightness and a couple of things but for the price we can definitely not complain it's a price range where we didn't see any of such packages in the past it's an amazing opportunity to get such a system with a whole package for an absolutely crazy low price and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time